For a long time before our European ancestors arrived in the land that is now northern New England, the indigenous people who first settled here had been making the sweet clear sap of the abundant maple tree into sugar and syrup to supplement their diet. As long ago as 1609, the early Europeans had learned about the rich sweetness of Maine gold. Good tasting? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Right. Robin. We're going to boil it. Robin, keep calling you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you still eat Well, yeah, I know. These photographs were made on a visit to the Weston family farm in Freiburg, Maine. The Weston family has farmed the valley since 1799, and to say that sugaring is a way of life in the spring would be a gross understatement. Only those maple trees that are at least 40 years of age can be tapped for their sap without harming them. Each large tree may yield as much as 60 gallons of sap in a good season without any harm at all to the tree. As it takes nearly 40 gallons of sap to boil down to make one gallon of grade A syrup, the price for good syrup is at a premium, reflecting the immense amount of work that goes into collecting and the constant watching over the boiler to finish a good yield. Oh, and it's been studied for a long time. They're not posing any, any health threats to the tree. The main thing, if you come back, and it will happen from time to time, we'll go back because we can tap the same trees every year. Um, if you go back to a tree and you notice, like, if last year's tap hole wasn't completely sealed all over, for whatever reason, that tree might not have had as strong a year. Um, we either wouldn't tap it or we, we wouldn't tap it in that one area. We just give it, and the next year you come back, it'll be sealed all over. Again, so. But yeah, like anything, you can do something to excess. This bounty of nature has three times the sweetness of cane sugar, yet holds a mere 40 calories per tablespoon. For about the last 15 years, Maine has set aside the last Sunday of every March to celebrate the bounty of this late winter and early spring harvest. Very, very faint, but that's what it is. Farms with sugar houses all over the state open their doors to visitors, often with free samples of the season's yield. From still hot syrup shots served in tiny paper cups to scoops of vanilla ice cream covered in the golden drip, all farms are well worth a visit. So, there's a lot of different companies that tried to market this in different ways. Uh, there's a Vermont company that sold sparkling sap for a while, but it's a perishable product, so they figured out the shelf life. Oh yeah.